Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8, 20th day of February 2024. I am Chenya Omai for Media Headlines. Our economic challenges will be gone soon. Let's fight together. Deputy Speaker Kali urged Nigerians. Benue anti-open grazing law still in force, says Governor Alia. Not increased TNC government intervention over killings in Kaduna communities. We take home our wrap up the details and many more stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermodel Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now the details. In an emotion-laden speech that rekindles hope and reinforces patriotism in the people, the Deputy Speaker Right Honorable Benjamin Okese Kalo at Tuesday plenary told Nigerians that the current economic challenges are transient and would be surmounted. Recognizing the resilient spirit of the people, Carlos said they have always risen together in times of adversity. He said that appropriate policies have been enacted by the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu government to tackle the situation, urging the people to be patient. Benin State Governor Reverend Father High Saint Alia has said the state's open grazing prohibition and ranches establishment law is still in full force in the state. Alia disclosed this on Monday during an interface with leaders of various unions in the state at the old banquet hall government house Makodi. He said the essence of the interface was to intimate the unions on the happenings both in the state and at the national level and to appreciate them for their support to his administration. Kogi State Governor Ahmed Ododo has stressed that political appointees will not benefit from food palliatives in the state. They should also contribute to the society that met them. Ododo said on Tuesday during the flag off of first quarter 2024 food palliative distribution in Lokoja. He equally warned those saddled with the responsibility of distributing palliatives against hoarding or selling the relief materials provided by government to cushion the economic hardship in the country. The Kaduna State Chapter of Congress of Northern Nigeria. Christian CNNC has called for the intervention of the Nigerian government in the continuous killing of innocent citizens by bandits in parts of the state. The Congress met the call in a statement issued in Kaduna on Tuesday by its state's chairman, Elder Bulus Dogara. Zamfara State Police Command has confirmed that a group of armed men suspected to be bandits wielding sophisticated weapons attacked the Zomi Division at Nasarawa area of Zomi local government area. It said that the policemen on duty retaliated and repelled the attack after a serious gun duel in which many of the bandits were killed and some took to their heels with possible gunshot wounds. In a statement issued by the spokesman of the command, ASP Yazid Abubakar, reads that the Divisional Crime Officer, DSP Shitsu Musa, paid the supreme price as he died on the spot, while two other police officers suffered gunshot wounds. Zamfara State Chapter of the Master Bakers Association, NBA, has ordered its members to stop production of bread until it settles with the state government over the ban on motorcycles carrying breads. The association refuted the claim that the motorcycle riders carrying loaves of bread were supplying bread to bandits in the forest. The state government had recently banned any motorcycle carrying loaves of bread, saying that they were supplying the bread to bandits operating in the states. A leading pro-President Bola Ahmed Tinubu support movement has recorded nationwide presence in the 30 states of the country as well as the FCT. This was announced on Monday by the Director of North East Affairs of the movement, Honorable Issa Muhammad in Adamawa, while addressing the newly inaugurated Northern States executives. 
he noted that the movement is one of the oldest support groups in the country, dating back to the days of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who was contesting governor of Lagos State in 1999. The People's Democratic Party PDP has berated the All Progressives Congress APC and the federal government for attacking its governors who spoke out against what it called the failures of President Bola Tinubu and the APC government, which has plunged Nigerians into excruciating suffering. Honorable Debo Ologun Naba, National Publicity Secretary of the party, in a statement noted that the APC and the Tinubu administration are responsible for the current biting economic hardship and surging wave of insecurity across the country as they are completely overwhelmed and lack the capacity and competence to lead a nation like Nigeria. A political activist, Usman Bugaji claims President Bola Tinubu is incapable of addressing the numerous challenges facing the country. Since the fuel subsidy payment was stopped and the Naira floated, Nigerians have been experiencing biting economic issues with inflation hitting 29.90%, sparking protests in some parts of the country. Although the government has rolled out several plans to address the challenges, Bugaji maintains President Tinubu has no solution to Nigeria's issues. On business news, no fewer than eight six ministries, agencies and departments of government are owing the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company to the tune of 4 to 7 billion naira. According to a public notice by the management of the AEDC, the presidential villa owes the DISCO the sum of 923.9 million naira. The National Security Advisor owes 95.9 billion naira. The Ministry of the Federal Capital Territory, being supervised by Nisun Wiki, owes the sum of 7.57 billion naira. Why Adebayo Adelapu's Ministry of Power is indebted to the tune of 78 million naira. While on sports, Super Eagles coach Jose Peseiro believes Jose Mourinho has what it takes to manage Barcelona. Pesero, who took Nigeria to the final of the just-concluded 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, where the team lost 2-1 to -one to Ivory Coast, stated this in an interview with Spanish outlet Sports. However, Pesero, who is a close pal to the Portuguese tactician, said that Mourinho will excel at Baka if he's offered the job. And that sports news brings us to the end of the news at 8. Before we go, recap of our major headlines. Our economic challenges will be gone soon. Let's fight together. That is Speaker Kalu H. Nigerians. Benue anti-open grazing law still in force, says Governor Alia. Northern Christians see government intervention over killings in Kaduna communities. For these and many more, look on our website at www.abntv.com.ng. You can also follow us on any of our streaming platforms. Have a lovely night rest. I'm Chinyo Omai.